I'm really glad you decided to come back. get some dessert. You want some dessert? I mean, I've got plenty of cookies, candy. Well, <laughs> I suppose you want to try to eat healthy for a change, huh? Well, it's okay. I mean, I, I got some fruit there too. I got apples. I got oranges. I got some great blueberries. And I got a couple of big melons. Um... Is something wrong? Ow, ow, hey, come on, come on, come, ow, no, not there, ow, ow, see, ow! <laughs> it's finally here, guys, Tomb Raider, Crystal Dynamics and Square Enix's reboot of the classic franchise, which takes Laura Croft, from a weak-willed college student to the BAMF we all know she could be. This is Collector's Edition, also called the Survival Edition by uh, Amazon. On guarantees to have stuff to bring you more into the Tomb Raider world. So, let's check it out, shall we? Look at that face. Even dirty, bloody, beaten to a pulp, and standing outside in the rain, you can tell she just radiates strength and beauty. Right away, you could probably tell that Laura's two biggest <coughs> uh, assets are not as prevalent as they were in most games. That's because this Laura is a bit more realistic looking. Placed on its side, you could definitely tell that it's a tin, or it's meant to be a tin set. So, which means that while it'll probably take up a little bit of space on my shelf, I think it's pretty good. It's certainly not like Witcher 2 or anything. There we go. The wrapping comes off easy enough. And, yep, it's a tin, so that must mean that this is a, that this front part is a sleeve that's supposed to come off. There we go. Ta-da! Wow, that came out easily. So, as you can see here, uh, void of its uh, outer packaging, it's a uh, survival kit. of, see, of the, uh, the Endurance, which I guess is the ship that Laura is on when the game begins. How do I know this? Because I've seen the trailer. And, oh, hold on. Looks like, uh, there was something underneath here, so... It, apparently it's an art book. And, yep, and as you can see, it's got various images and screenshots from the game. 
And I think they look good, but I wonder why it wasn't included with the actual kit. So, <coughs> let's see. Ah, I see. It, op it opens like this, so it swings open. And here, first and foremost, we have the game itself. And in case you're wondering, this is just the, uh, what's shown on the outer packaging as well. So the wrapping is a little, takes a little bit of effort to get off the game. Uh, I recommend you find someone with long nails to, uh, <coughs> to help you open it there. And let's see here. Ah. This is the uh, day one DLC <coughs> that, uh, and it's a Hunter Skin and Shantytown multiplayer map. So this is just multiplayer DLC. All right. And here's an exclusive club uh, member that I don't know why we need, but <coughs> I guess if you like Square Enix stuff, then and as you can see, it's the game manual, which is only about, uh... huh, wait, ah, it's only about three pages. Yeah, well, I mean, I would have liked a little bit more details uh, outside the game tutorial, but I guess beggars can't be choosers. Ah, and here we have the original soundtrack with 10 songs uh, from, uh, from the game. And this is rap two. <coughs> the CD casing is wrapped really tight, so you're definitely going to need some help on this one. I recommend, again, getting someone with long nails. Uh, for the record, I know this woman named Theodora. Uh, she's a little bit hot-tempered, but uh, once you get inside, she can be real heartwarming. And she's got great nails, so she could probably open this for you. Uh, if you want to, if you're interested, just uh, leave me a review. I'll pass along your message to her. There we go. And on the back is just the soundtrack. And let's see, ooh, more uh, DLC. This is the Hitman Absolution Weapons Pack, which uh, I guess gives you certain weapons used in the game Hitman Absolution. But why, I don't know. I mean, I understand Hitman Absolution is coming out, but uh, Hmm. I fail. The Island of Yamati. The, now this is very cool. Uh, this is like a, it's a map. Cool, huh? And basically up here gives like a brief history. Uh, and then they have like pictures here. And on the back. Oh. How could you not love a face like this? Oh, this is beautiful. Unfortunately, I can't any posters up in my apartment. Some lease violation or something. I... And here we have a lithograph of Laura. And looks like there's more than one in here. Open up the label like this. Nope, I was wrong. It is just one lithograph. But hey, oh, and it's signed too. See that in the corner? Ah, yes. Now here's the one thing that everyone's been aching for. And that is the chance to take Laura home with her. Ah. 
it's uh, her accessories are taped so and uh, her um, other weapons uh, come uh, she's got like different hands to hold uh, each of the weapons I guess and her trademark bow and arrow which looks cool but I know you want to see Laura herself, so let's see. Ta-da! Look at that detail. I tell you, I love it. Okay. There are not many points of articulation, and you could really, and you could practically see the uh, ball joints here. But other than that, I think it's pretty good. So yeah, I'm going to uh, set this up, maybe show it off when I'm done. And it's about as big as uh, Ninja Gaiden uh, uh, figures. Oop. I'll uh, throw that out later. And let's see. Oh, a couple more things. As you can see here, there are some iron-on patches, which look like this. There we go. I don't know if I'm ever going to be using these, but it's nice to have them around. Maybe use them for props in an upcoming episode. Who knows? And there you have it, is that I also ordered a Tomb Raider limited edition strategy guide. Now this may look like your typical coffee table book, but in fact, there's something special inside. What is it? Well, let's open it up and find out. As you can see in the back here, there is a There. There is a, as my phone goes off. Um, huh. Serv uh, let's see, it's a custom design amulet. Question is. I see it, as you can see, this part opens up in the back here, and this allows you to, uh, enables you to remove it without really destroying it. Uh, and also is uh, just DLC for multiplayer characters, which I don't think is in this part. Yep, it's the redemption code is uh, on the back cover. Uh, I'm not going to show it to you because, well, I want to use it. Uh, but I will show you. Ta-da! Yep, this is what you have to be in order for. Oof. Well, I can't wait. Until next time, I'll see you on the next strip search. Say goodnight, Laura.